After 13 days in the hospital battling COVID-19, a Springfield boy is now home. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. I'm Carly Tinsley. Now, KEZI 9 News reporter Ariel Yakabazi spoke with his mom about the terrifying experience of seeing her son fight the virus. Hospitalizations are going down here in Oregon and things are starting to look up, especially for one Springfield mom who just went through a parent's worst nightmare. Seeing your child struggling just to breathe just from standing up is terrifying. Amy Cholowinski is a mother of three. Now we heard of a couple other kids his age at his school that had had it um, kind of like just a cold and come back to school. I mean, most commonly that's what you hear from people who've had COVID. Her 11 year old son Spencer had a very different experience with COVID than his classmates. For the first eight solid days, he was running 103 fevers, 104 fevers every day. And by that following weekend, um, we decided to see a doctor. After the first few days of having the virus, his fever then spiked to 107. Spencer says he's had a range of emotions, but doesn't know how to describe his experience at times. I, yeah, I was scared and I, I kept asking my mom, am I going to die? Amy tells me she took Spencer to the emergency room at McKenzie Willamette, where they told her Spencer had pneumonia. At first, everything seemed manageable. We thought we might only be there for one night. But even with antibiotics and steroids, things went downhill very quickly for her son. He came home, and within 24 hours, he was right back where he was again. Amy says within a matter of hours, the team at Randall Children's Hospital in Portland sent their medical transports to come get Spencer. And from there, they spent several days in the Portland hospital. And then the doctor said, it's going to be a roller coaster. He's going to look fine one minute and things could happen really rapidly. And they did. 